Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana, yeah, you can see it here on CoinMarketCap. Last 24 hours, a 17% increase, which is fantastic. Pretty much outperforms a lot of other cryptos here at the moment. Um, and it has moved into my target area. It has reached my next price target yesterday when um, Solana was just below $100. Uh, I confirmed my view that I had um, yeah, for a while now that Solana is going to move here into this area, at least going to see the 107 US dollars. And where did we get to? We did get all the way up to yeah, $108. We did expect a reaction to this level because this is the Fibonacci retracement level of the wave three into the wave four. So just to show you here from the wave two beginning or from the wave three beginning to the peak of the wave three, we're going to take here the, um, the Fibonacci levels. There you go. Zoom in a little bit and you can see, actually need to move that up a little bit. Um, we can see that we've got here two uh, levels at 107, $108, the other one at 128.50. And within this, we've got here this target area because these are the two areas that, um, well, the 0.214 here, the 0.214 Fibonacci retracement level at $107, $108 is the minimum the price needed to do to complete this wave four. So theoretically, the wave four could be in now, which is fantastic, which is in line with expectations. Um, and the price has actually moved there, which is, um, yeah, no surprise. It's really what the price needs to do. And more ideally, I would expect the price to reach the 128.50. And I think this is now very real realistic, given that the price has um, tried to get in here. The price has broken the $100 level. And that was another Fibonacci level that's was, that was here, the 0.618 FIB level, the most important one. It has broken that. Um, and uh, now we are moving here further towards the target area. As I said, there was an initial reaction, but that is not much surprise because on the one hour chart, Solana was overbought. Seems like it did find support here, as you can see hit, and it's probably trying to push higher again at some point. To be fair, that also depends a bit on Bitcoin. Um, and it doesn't need to mean that it's gonna happen today or that it's gonna happen in the next few hours. It just means that it's gonna happen, in my view, at some point in the near future, yeah. Solana also broke out of this pattern here that we've got for Cardano as well. So could really be that Cardano is gonna break out to the upside here as well. Um, but yeah, Solana did make it above $100. That's the message here, which is good, which is in line with the expectations. Yesterday when I made the update video, it was fighting here to get through. Yeah, we were just here. Uh, there was another move down and then, you know, basically broke to the upside here, this pattern and try to get into this target area, try to climb higher, but was rejected at this 0.214 Fibonacci level. Now, we, yes, we're overbought on the one hour chart um, and also on the four hour just about, you know, it's retracing now, which is good, which is good to see. So that's necessary. Actually, it can't just go up in one line. And after this move down, we would expect the price to move higher. I basically have to assume it, because in a way four, in which we, in my view, are, that 0.382 FIP level up here at $128 would be just the logical next step. And that is why I would stick with this view, especially confirmed by the fact that Solana has now broken above $100 and is trying to break the $107, $108 level. So that's all going in line with expectations. That's great. As I said yesterday, the top of this target range here at 128 would also fall very well in line with this descending trend line here. As you can remember, probably Solana is in a descending channel. Now the danger is, the risk is that people get too bullish up here. But um, yeah, we, we'll see, we'll see, you know. Theoretically, it could be that the bottom is in already. You know, we've come into this target area that we talked about here on this channel for months now. We've come into this area that was sitting between 55 and originally $130, but I, I did reduce it down as 130 um, were reached. Um, and now we are in the target area still. 
with target area i just mean it's the price or it's the price area in which the price needs to get to in a certain correction to complete it and um, in this current larger wave 2 correction which will be completed with this wave c it might all be a bit complicated now i try to keep it simple um somewhere in this area here the price um has done what it needs to do you know from based on the edit wave uh, methods and rules and fibonacci levels it has done what it needs to do theoretically it could pump up from here but i don't think so looking at the wider picture looking at what i do expect for bitcoin still which would also be another sell-off which doesn't mean that in the short term we couldn't make any profits here so um the solana buy order was triggered pretty much at the low here um, I had a buy order set on Discord. I can't remember if it was at 87 or 82 dollars, but it was triggered, which is fine. I think everybody who participated in that and is following me with my buy orders is now very pleased because I think another buy order was triggered just above 100. Even that is in profit now. So of course, short-term profits can be taken if anybody wants to. But I, bearing in mind, I do expect at some point here another sell-off that could take us all the way down to 55 dollars potentially yeah and that's pretty much where we are with solana um so immediate upside potential yes but then i would expect another sell-off all right hopefully you like the update about solana if you did please smash the like button and subscribe and if you want to see my own buy and sell orders and join the community on discord and telegram and just support the channel and attend the weekly live stream maybe consider to join as a channel member and you can do that on my website or here on YouTube, and there is a link in the description for both options. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.